Well, there's a local company doing some really cool things with 3D printing. Yeah, Marty is joining us from Hatch in Howard County. Hatch exhibits in Howard County. Good morning, everyone. T. Jaff, everybody. Thousand percent the truth. Chris McCormick of Hatch exhibits because you hatch ideas. Correct. So this was the big 3D printer we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. But what we want to talk about right now are the 13 printers that you have in, in this room. And by the way, Hatch does a whole lot. Tell them very quickly, tell them what Hatch does. We help companies tell their story and engage with their audience, um, create unique experiences that people find memorable. And you've been in business how long? Uh, nine years. Nine years, but 3D printing has now entered your life. These are smaller 3D printers behind us, Correct. and we want to show what you're actually printing, which he put some, some examples on this table for us. You were telling me that, tell them what this is right here. This is a large piece of food processing equipment. This piece of machinery is about 80 to 90 feet uh, long, so it's really prohibitive to take to a trade show. But we can take really big things, scale them down, 3D print them, and this is a much easier piece to take uh, and, and to show the public. And you said when you go into a trade show, a business is charged by weight? Correct. Yeah, it's called material handling or drayage, and it can range from a dollar to three to four dollars a pound. A pound. What does this in reality weigh, the, the, the real one? Oh, I couldn't even fathom hundreds of thousands so, of pounds. So by making an exact, and I mean exact to the atom duplicate, you save a lot of money. Absolutely. That'll probably weigh about 30 pounds when it's all done. And how long will it take to make that? That'll take me a couple of weeks. We're wrapping up. I have to have this one done on Tuesday, and then it ships to Belgium. You were telling me that a lot of dental offices are using 3D printing now. Yeah, from what I've been told, and I actually have a tooth that was made from a, a 3D printer as well. well i got to be honest about it. My night guard was made from a 3D printer. And behind us, I can see where K2 is shooting. Those are other 3D printers. We only have 15 seconds left, but you can do multiple jobs at once. Absolutely. Yeah, those are filament printers, and the other ones are LCD resin printers. And your business does a lot more than 3D printing, which we'll get to next half hour. But the showstopper, K2, here it is right there. Look, do you have a nickname for that real quick? For the machine itself? Yeah. Just the mass of it, because it makes some really massive things. <laughs> All right, from Elkridge Live this morning, we're back to TV Hill.